let's consider a convex mirror. Okay, so convex means the shiny side of the mirror is on the outward of the curve. Okay, where a concave mirror, the shiny side of the mirror would be on the inside of the curve. So we generally would say it's bulging towards the object, our convex mirror. So if our object's over here, we traditionally put it on the left, then the radius of curvature of this lens, or this mirror, I apologize, this mirror, is somewhere over here on the side. And since it's a mirror, light only exists over here. So this is the positive side, that's the negative side. That means that this is a negative mirror, or its radius is negative, so its focal length is negative. Okay. So, how do we figure out where an object is going to be, or an image is going to be? Well, we do the same set of rules. We have one ray coming in parallel, and it reflects off this mirror, and it needs to go through that focal point, or in this case, away from that focal point. So it's associated with this focal point, so it's going to travel away from it. Another one is going to go as if towards that focal point and bounce straight off like that and it would then converge it appears if it's coming there and my eye would see these two rays these two rays would enter my eye and it would appear as if it's coming from right there and we could do a check we could do our third central ray which would also appear to be coming from that spot. So that checks off. Okay. And so if I were to think about this image, this image is not real. It's virtual because the light's not really going there. And so I should end up with a negative image distance. And let's go ahead and try uh, the math on this and use our equation. 1 over s plus 1 over s prime equals 1 over f okay and s is measured from the front of the mirror and s prime is measured from the front of the mirror and f is this distance back to this point now if f a point here is negative it's in this negative region where light doesn't really go if that's negative s is always positive and we can write this as 1 over s prime equals 1 over f minus 1 over s and this is negative magnitude of f because f is negative then this side, this side is negative it's going to be less than zero so we get a negative and that is correct we'll get a negative value for s prime meaning it's virtual or it appears where the light isn't really going so that is consistent with our mass. So this can check where it ought to be. If I draw this really carefully with the ruler, I can find where this would be. Uh, but and then I can also check with just the simple math, keeping straight whether my focal length is positive or negative.